Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Tonight we are tackling a new project. We saw on the um, X3 sites where a guy had actually made a quick release front end to easily clean his radiator. We had done this on an OG Mav, and I don't know why we haven't thought about doing it to this thing, but when we saw that video, we thought, hey, that's a great idea. I'm gonna try and find that video, I'll post the original video, and give the guy credit because this is not our idea not our idea we're just trying to uh we're going to show you how we're going to do it we're going to take the whole front end apart we figure we got to take this whole front end apart take a look what's underneath see what needs to come out to make it all quick release and we'll document it and hopefully it turns out okay and uh it's helpful all right let's start taking the front clip off so just involves a bunch of bolts so we're going to go ahead and pull the front we're, we'll go ahead and pull this front clip off i'll put a link to the video there's a, a a good video where a guy actually pulls this off an x3 um and explains it real well and no sense doing it twice so we're gonna go ahead and get that off and um i don't know figure it out from there okay we got her all loosened up and then we're just gonna Get this whole front clip, you just gotta wiggle it around and manipulate a little bit around the bumper and it should pop off. <laughs> should. And that is essentially how you take, well, if you watch the other video. <laughs> Get the front clip off. Yeah, you can see where it's going to be a big advantage to get in there and clean that lower. So now we're just going to look at it and see what needs to be cut and try and replicate what that dude did. Or relatively close. Let's have a beer. And think about it before we start cutting the X3 up. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> okay, so let me give you guys an explanation. So basically, this section here will be coming out as you'll see in that other guy's video and it'll pull out from the top so that uh, you get the radiator real clean so we're gonna let me turn this over so what we've decided is that we have to remove uh, we got a better view of that so that there's two clips there there they gotta come out and then there's two bolts that gotta come out and these two bolts gotta come out and those two bolts gotta come out. And then we're gonna nix it with the body saw or whatever we got, probably the body saw. Right across here. And that should pretty much be it for that. That should work. So we're gonna start by just taking the bolts out and see what loosens up, make sure that everything's gonna come out. But uh, that's the plan. That's the plan. It's a good plan. It's the only plan we got. Solid plan. Solid plan. No? That does not come out. That's attaching the eyebrows. Oh, okay. All right. So it's those two and... So we have to cut above that, uh, above that bolt then? Yeah, we're cutting here. Even that's, like... that's, that's connected to the eyebrows. Yeah. That yeah. We're, we're cutting here. Okay. Okay, nicely. Well, let's stick that back up there and then let's put the other piece in there and see what we're, see what we're dealing with here. So we're gonna reassemble the part that's not gonna come off with the quick release modification and then we're gonna get to uh, throw that flashlight on the floor <laughs> and then we'll start working on the uh, front radiator and see what has to be uh, modified. 
Okay, so modification. This piece fits in a pocket right here. So with that little arm hanging out, there's no way it's gonna come out nice and easy. So we've deducted that we need to get rid of it. You're just gonna cut it right at the, the joint? Yeah, it just needs to be out of the way. Yeah. We don't need that where we're going. That's that, huh? What do you think? A little trimming to do here. You can trim it instead of bend the bumper. Yes. I'd rather mess with plastic than bulkheads. Yeah, well, well it's so. kind of like that, I kind of like that bumper. Okay, so quick explanation. We think that this piece needs to be cut out because it's catching on the bottom bracket, making it difficult to come out. And this piece. Right here is catching on the little eyebrow, which makes it difficult to come out. And we think this is why the gentleman in the video probably bent his bumper. And we are not a fan of that method, although we could see where it would work. Just not, we don't want to be messing with the bulkhead. So again, this piece right here is catching on the bottom part of this. It's hard if we can tell. So we're gonna just make it a little easier, smoother transition. Okay, so we test fitted it and we still think that this little extra piece that basically the eyebrow sits on, it sits pretty much mounted in here and it's catching up here. So we're just gonna kind of mix off on an angle here. I don't actually sit on it, well, no, but, but yeah, it's but, in the way yeah. trying to pull it out, so... <laughs> you might have cut those. Yeah, it's about the same. Yeah. Close enough. Close enough to find works. I'm not concerned about aesthetics. Okay, that went on nice and easy. So now the test. Take it off. How does it come out? Well, call that a win. Okay, to finish this up. This is where a nut and bolt would go. And as in the guy's video, he put a push pin in there and we're gonna do the same. 
So we got our push pin set out and uh, gonna drill it. Make sure you drill through all the all the layers. There's three of them there, I think. Oh yeah, more, more positive feel on that. More better. Yeah, good deal. Okay guys, so we're all done with this modification. Again, kudos to the guy that uh, put up the original video. We hope we uh, come close to how he did it, but for us, it's working pretty well. Uh, structurally, solid as a rock. Nothing is uh, different. Cosmetically, we did not bend the bumper, so there is a little bit of a, um, a torque on the plastic getting out of there, but we just did not choose to do that not saying it was wrong or right that's just not what we wanted to do so we'll do a uh full-on demonstration here of so, bottom bolt washer Easy. Smart to use those instead of using the nut and bolts. Makes just so much easier. It was a good idea. Pop the hood. Now just make her nice and easy so we see how it comes out. Comes off to here, comes off to here. So just a little bit of torque. So there you go. And we're done. Popped it out. I gotta clean some bitch. So there you go, guys. Hope that helped you out. I uh, hope we, re we reversed engineered that correctly, but it seems to work out pretty well. Gonna make cleaning this radiator so much easier. Uh, super happy with how it worked out. And uh, we're gonna do it to the second machine tomorrow. So uh, thanks for watching. Hit the old subscribe button. We got lots more going on this week. Appreciate you watching.